uh, hello everyone uh, this is another uh, tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to uh, show you how to design a concrete column uh, using imported models from the ETAP software in the previous tutorial I have discussed how to use wizard which is the most quick and fast designing method and in the next tutorial we will use blank uh, to model and analyze and design the concrete columns so here is one of the my designed structure. It's a 24-story uh, concrete reinforcement structure, and I want to um, import to the CSI column and design again the column. So remember, uh, when you import the model to CSI column, that should have designed and analyzed. I'm going to call it import, and I want to select that model and after that it will uh, reopen the model and detect all the data including the slabs grids and columns beams everything So the modeling is the model is opening so it takes some time because the model is quite large and and a lot of element so it takes a while to import now the model is uh, open and it asked me to select the combination and also the uh, design so uh, here is the design part for the column and I'm going to select these three and here is uh, detecting uh, extracting data stories grids joints and later it will column slabs everything now the frame is also completed the shell uh, it's about 9600 and it will take a while to finish the shell is also uh, extracted now this is the structure you will see a 3d model and uh, you can select uh, which column or the entire column uh, it's depending to you so for uh, just I want to select uh, uh, the first floor columns and So I uh, press the escape and uh, the model is gone and back with here. So I'm going to select uh, the first floor columns, mostly in the e tabs. Some of them didn't pass. So I'm going to select one and let's go to uh, some of them from the center and from some of them from the edges and corners so now select select some of them uh, even all of the first floor now what I'm going to do is to import them here is called import and 16 column is selected now I want to import them to the system interface here is giving the result uh, in the result from the we can see the name which is C13 story 1 story 1 and the governing loads and this load is including the the, uh, the earthquake load and uh, called the rebar configuration using um, 12 diameter 20 but didn't pass so the rebar ratio is greater one percent and none of them is passed so it's the, uh, the D over C ratio is or the demand capacity ratio is 100 so it should be less than 1% uh, here is now one of them and this is C14 this is the uh, cross section we're giving so what I want to do is I can uh, add 
uh, manually some rebar, adding some rebar. But the good thing is I want to uh, conduct the auto design. So when I go to here and it, I want to conduct auto design and it provide me the design uh, which is uh, giving here. So the capacity ratio was first here when adding this layout rebar and the second is also the third one changed to 36, 28, so it got 94. But the 90 is our uh, capacity ratio that success. And the rebar ratio will become 6 point. In case this is not allowable in the ACI code, in the code, then you can change the size of the color. Now it's okay. And we made one uh, reinforcement. And the second, uh, we go to the 15. The 15 is also the pass, and I'm going to conduct auto design and the run. And after two, three iteration, we got 0 0.18. And the same for the 12 auto design and the run. And we got again a uh, success designed color. Now we go to the 11. This is uh, other section and I'm going to create and run this one as well. But in the in the uh, in the one, two, three, five or six iteration didn't pass. So it got called fail fail. So what you do, what you can do is to uh, I wanna this one uh call follow provide layout. So I'm going to again this also uh, finished actually didn't pass but failed so what I want to do is I want to create uh, or change the cross section uh, let's uh, this is C13 and in the C13 uh, we have two three choice then I can add the concrete uh, column size or I can uh, use another shape or even I can uh, I can add some more rebar in the middle of this one now uh, I want to uh, make some changes uh, let's uh, select this here and then uh, I'm going to uh, increase the depth the weight to 600 and then again go to the auto design and this time i'm going to run it but this time i'm going to turn off this one and using this method and finally it taxes with 2.46 percent so like this we can conduct and design the entire columns so now we're gonna see but it's failed and we want to do is just go to ok and you need to select it and we want to change the concrete size, the concrete materials, or the size of the uh, length of the length and depth of the concrete column. Now again, we need to run it, and this is passed. And this one, we're going to run it, and this also passed. The last one and this is the seven and we're gonna try it and this is also with this uh, properties is passed because it's in the other side of the uh, structure sometimes the corner is different and the middle is different so the edge is different so we should consider each path and design properly now we go to run this one this also successfully completed and we can Select this one and we want to run and this is also properly designed. I'm gonna go to run it and just column one. It's also passed and I'm going to another three quickly to create a report of these columns. Now let's see uh, the uh, 
the spacing is quite fast and we're gonna check it this is failed so we, what we're gonna do is we want to go to again here and change this column size so I'm going to give it 800 so 800 and go to run again and now we will get a better result and column uh, that three is also should still running but it's fail well. so what we're gonna do is we want to change the size of the column and let's give uh, the height should be 800 I'm gonna redesign and fortunately this also passed and now we're gonna go to see full uh, run and this is actually passed and the last one Uh, this self. Now we uh, finish the design of entire first floor column. So what we're gonna do is we can go to the here in the result, and we also can uh, check any of this uh, column that is the uh, moment curvature. Let me ask the moment curvature. So this is the moment, and this is the rotational, and uh, the moment is quite high, and we also can see the uh, moving curvature plots uh, it takes some time so this is the moving curvature plot and we can see the actual force response and also here is the actual force response with curvature and the curvature with their curvature third curvature curvature two curvature third and also we can go to see them some strain on the column this is the stress distribution across the column and also we can create an animation of the column now we can uh, animate and see how the uh, the response is showing in the in the curvature curve the interaction curve so now we can see uh, this direction is the ultimate actual force moving to moving three and it's the response with different color and we also uh, can uh, go to uh, see the interaction diagram for each column and here is one of them uh, the column uh, C11 and it has a maximum capacity of uh, almost 10,000 kilonewton and the moment is 1,715 and uh, so this is it and you can finally create a detailed report uh, from the from entire columns so now the report is generated and it take a while to to complete and then we will see the column size and uh, the loading the rebar percentage and the uh, uh, demand and capacity Issue. So here is the model, and we selected uh, 14 uh, column 2, uh, C13, and uh, we the compressive load, the compressive strength of the co columns, elastic modulus, and uh, concrete. Using this is the uh, because we used uh, ACI, and actually the unit, the concrete, American concrete is PSI. So it's changed to uh, megapascal, and this is the rebar we used, and this is the properties of the section, and this is the steel, and now here is the result part. So the total, the total rebar is 12, at diameter 20, and it's uh, taking one one percent or one point or five percent. Uh, rebar so the area has become like this uh, now this is the cross section properties as well and we can uh, include this report with other uh, data to our client now um, 
so that column two that was column uh, 13 and this is 14 so this is design and here is the properties and like this you can uh, save or you can export this uh, to you can go to save it the project uh, uh, you can say uh, first uh, floor uh, columns columns design and you can save it then you can uh, uh, bring the second floor third floor and design and then after the design is completed you can go to back to the etabs and define the giving uh, rebars and also giving uh, dimension and recheck it so now uh, it is completed. If you have any question, and please put in the comment, and I will find time to answer you. See you next time.